a police officer's job is to protect people. In Kenton County, Officer Bricks did that as well as anyone. Brad Underwood shows us how his fellow officers honored his dedication and service. Thank you for all your years of service to the citizens and first responders of Kenton County. Your 10 years of work and service has made a difference for the citizens of Kenton County. Sunday night, a final radio call for one of Kenton County's public servants. For eight years, Bricks had a reputation of being one of the toughest around. When I started and uh, when I came on, uh, it was quickly understood that the officers had a lot of respect, a lot of respect for uh, Bricks's uh, work and, uh, and his capabilities. Kenton County Police Chief Spike Jones says Bricks made Kenton County safer. Thanks to him, 20 arrests made, dozens of pounds of drugs off the streets, and nearly 100 school safety sweeps complete. In his career, uh, seized uh, countless amounts of, uh, of drugs, uh, considerable amount of cash. Uh, Bricks has done good work for the people of Kenton County, and uh, we were honored to serve with him. K-9 Bricks retired from the Kenton County Police Department in 2015. Over the weekend, the 13-and-a-half-year-old was laid to rest, ending his suffering. In his final moments, just like the years before, Bricks was by his handler, Daryl Caldwell's side. We see that bond at work, but what we don't see is that bond at home, I think. And uh, the, when that canine, when that handler and his partner go home, well, that, uh, that dog, that's part of the family. A final radio call isn't common for retired canines. Jones says it speaks to the level of respect officers have for Bricks and Officer Caldwell. I, th I think it was something uh, that uh, the officers and, and dispatch wanted to do for Bricks. They, they felt a closeness with him. Now here at the Northern Kentucky Police Memorial, canines uh, aren't honored, uh, aren't put on any of these plaques, but uh, Chief Jones says he would not be surprised if there is some kind of tribute or memorial created in honor of Bricks in the near future. Reporting live tonight in Covington, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cami. Brad, when uh, that dispatcher did the final call and, and she said, you know, we have your watch from here, I got all choked yeah, up. I mean, I was... know it's a dog, but he really was a fellow Absolutely. officer and they felt that way, right? They certainly did. You know, he uh, as we tried to, to rattle off some of his stats. They're certainly uh, a difference maker and one uh, that, as you heard the chief talk about, you know, they don't normally do this. And so this is something those officers felt needed to be done because of that bond and all those years of service to the department. Very nice. Good for them. Yeah. Thank you, Brad.